So guys, every Igbo man and every Igbo woman have got to condemn what happened in this video. You must have seen this video trending since yesterday where an Igbo woman who is based in Canada was calling on the Igbos, you know, to put something that is not good in people's food so as to buy people from the Yoruba tribe and also the Benin. I don't know where this hate came from. Honestly, we know that yes, the Igbos have been having some bad time when it comes to the way the, the Yoruba have been speaking against the Igbos. Igbos. Igbo must go and all those stuff. Recently, there was also a TikTok live where, uh, you know, a Yoruba community were saying that the Igbos are the cause of all the bad things happening in this country and that African countries should come together to fight the Igbos. You know, I featured that video here on my channel yesterday. And then we now saw this one. But for me, this one, I mean, it got to the extreme. For somebody to call on, you know, his people to buy a, a set group nigerians let's be fair this is not acceptable i i say no 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 to this and i believe that every Igbo man has got to come out to like you know say no to this kind of statement we must reject it we must disassociate ourselves from it and we must call for unity record me very very well record exactly. me. we are going time. to give them time them. to start poisoning the yoruba and the benin put poison for all una food for work put poison for una water Make una de buy one by one. Una go no 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 go buy one day. Una go sick 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 sick. I go put a tap pia pia for inside una water inside una food. No no go see better. This guy hate when I get for una so it go last forever forever. Fall off una food. A tap pia pia. Let me record that one. Let me record that uh, uh, rat. If I go work tomorrow, now go put up for, uh, for Yoruba people food. Go tell government. Oh, yeah, I did Canada. I did Ontario. Oh, yeah, hurry up. Hurry, fast, fast. I go put a tap, I go put a bomb or show everything for a sound of food. When I go to hear small, small, you're about to die, yo. Be need dog, but me, when I go to hear, I'm a bit talker. I want making the people get that heart of wickedness. When I do, when I do, they quiet. When I do, they cool. Enough is enough. If you have a means of buying them, buy them. Any means of buying them, buy them, come off a road. Because the, the, the two mumu, they are of no use to, to, to the society. Lots of, lot of um, prostitutes and everything. You Say said, you said, you said, you said let's not. Good man, good man. Uh, I shall walk in down. They say be naked down. They, they, who they call them be naked down. Then I shall walk in down. Record me very, very well. Record exactly. we are going time. to give them what time to start poisoning the Yoruba and the Benin. Put poison for all una food for work. Put poison for una water. Make una de buy one by one. Una go, una, una go buy one day. Una go sick, 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 sick. I go put a tap pia pia for inside una water, inside una food. Una no go see better. This guy hates when I get for una so it go last forever, forever. Fall off on a food. Ota pia pia. Let me record that one. Let me record that uh, uh, rat. Eh? Ota pia pia na. Eat and die. Eat and die. Eat and die. Okay, okay. 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 Sniper, sniper, sniper. I go there. I go there. Put them for all on a food. Sniper. All on a food for. If I go work tomorrow, now I go put them for uh, for Yoruba people food. Go tell government. Oh yeah, I did Canada. I did Ontario. Oh yeah, hurry up. Hurry, fast, fast. I go put a tap pia pia. I go put a uh, bomb or show everything for inside una food. Una go to hear small small. You're a bad under yo. Be need dog by me. Una go to hear and I'm a talk up. I want making the people get that heart of wickedness. Right. Una too, una, una too de quiet. Una too de cool. Enough. It's enough. If you have a means of buying them, buy them. Any means of buying them, buy them. Come off a road. Right. Because the, the, the two mumu, they are of no use to, to, to the society. Lots of, lots of um, prostitutes and everything. You said, you said, let's not. Good man, good man. I shall walk in down. They say, be naked down. The, the food they call them, be naked down. Then I shall walk in down. 
Oke Dabirirewa, chair of the Nigerians in Diaspora Commission, has disclosed the identity of a Canada-based woman, Amaka Patient Sunberger, who allegedly threatened to kill fellow Nigerians living in the country. In a viral video, Sunberger made tribalistic remarks during a virtual TikTok meeting that had slightly over 100 people in attendance, vowing to harm Yoruba and Benin people by poisoning them. Uh, Sunberger, who is a resident of Ontario, Canada, claimed her comments were in response to perceived hate against the Igbo people. The video has since sparked widespread outrage, with many calling for her arrest and prosecution. Let's take a look before we take some reactions from social media. Uh, I go there, put them for all on a food. Sniper. All on a food for if I go work tomorrow, now I go put them for, uh, for Yoruba people food. Go tell government, oh yeah, I did Canada, I did Ontario. Oh yeah, hurry up. Hurry, fast, fast. I go put a tap, I go put a uh, bomb or shot, everything for sell on a food. When I go to hear small, small, you're a bad on that, yo. Be need dog, but me, when I go to hear and I'm a talker. I want making the people get that heart of wickedness. When I do, when I, when I do, they're quiet. When I do, they're cool. Enough. It's enough. If you have a means of buying them, buy them. Let's take some tweets. The first one there, of course, is from Abike Dabri herself, where she put out the picture saying this is the picture of the lady behind the voice as she has uh, deleted her TikTok account and a group of Nigerians in Canada reporting her to the relevant authorities. Let's go to the next tweet there from Alhaji. He says, good thing her face is on the internet and should face whatever charges in due time. But what about the Lagos Pedia handler? Does he not incite violence and death threats on Igbos and Hausas in Lagos? Or is this case not worth much attention? And the last tweet there reads, the hate is unprecedented from all sides. It's a spillover from the last elections in Nigeria, mostly in Lagos, that people were denied access to exercise their civil duties. You've planted this seed that has spread to Europe, America, and bleep are toiling that same line now. Now, I thought it was just important to, first off, I have friends from all tribes, Hausa, Igbo, Yoruba, and I love them dearly. This is not about who is right or who is wrong. It's about identifying that we have an issue when it comes to tribal matters. And this woman, of course, has taken it too far. Rufai, let's start with you. Very sad. And I think, uh, I think somebody also from National Assembly also wrote a letter, you know, to the Canadian authorities yes, as regards this. You can just pull that up. And Abike Dabiria has also spoken about this, but very sad. You see, we can't build a country with this level of bigotry, and I totally condemn what this woman has done. Just like I condemn other people inciting violence in all ramifications. Mm -hmm. You cannot build a country this way. I keep telling people, our common enemies are not our Yoruba brothers or Igbo brothers or Hausa brothers. They are the politicians that bring about bad leadership. And because they have nothing to say to us about successes and achievement, they divide us. We must have a society where we can live beyond all of this and stop all this ethnic rhetoric. And I will quickly tell a story. When South Africa was under so much tension because of the killing of Chris Haney in 93, Nelson Kralishasha Mandela was famous to have made a concession speech where he reminded South Africans of the fact that Chris Haney was killed by a white person, but it was another white person that alerted them to the fact that Chris Haney had been killed. So we need not to go against one another. We need to stay together and be firm. Yorubas, Igbos, Hausas, everywhere in the world live together in peace and harmony. That woman should be found out. And I must say, she's not a representation of the Igbo people. Just like people like Lagos PD are not a representation of the Nigerian people. They are just very, very bad people within their own mindset that needs to be told that what they are doing is wrong. Mm. Uh, okay, Dr. Abbas. Well, the, the thing to add is the position taken by the House of uh, Representatives, a letter signed by uh, representative, I think, uh, Olaleye and Representative uh, Ukiri, complaining officially to the Canadian High Commission in Nigeria to say that, look, incitement to hate or threat to intimidate other people or, you know, whatever, is an offense. First under international law, also under Canadian laws, also under Nigerian laws, also under the laws of... Uh, uh, Ontario, Canada, where I guess this uh, patient, Samaka uh, Sumberger, uh, uh, lives. So 
it's to be condemned. Incitement to hate of any sort. Again, second point is that we're seeing the abuse of the social media. The social media gives freedom. It's a democratic platform, but a lot of people abuse it. So it's good that the uh, chairperson of the Diaspora Commission, uh, Abike W. Irewa, has spoken up on this to condemn it. And it is good that the House Committee on Diaspora Matters is also uh, speaking up on this. Uh, to say that uh, 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 Yoruba people and uh, Benin people uh, should be poisoned with uh, or tap kya kya, so that they will uh, uh, pay. Uh, uh, nobody should uh, poison uh, Rufai or Ayoya, <laughs> <laughs> not even Atigaran from uh, Delta State. So I think these are, these are the uh, basic uh, issues in this uh, uh, regard. But she is arrogant again about our offense. Yes. She has repeated our offense. She says she's a Canadian. Yes, come on. So come nobody on. can do anything so to her. That nothing that will happen to her. She cannot be deported. <coughs> so you see what people do on social media sometimes, you know, justify the concerns about the uh, freedom that social media offers. All right, then, Ayo. Yeah, just very quickly, mm -hmm. I want to say, refer to that tweet that says that this is an aftermath of what happened during the elections and how we've seen more hate along ethnic lines, division along ethnic lines in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying that this should be a wake-up call for us to begin to look for a solution to bring people together. Yes. There's so much division. We mm -hmm. can no longer hide or bury our heads in the sand. What is the National Orientation Agency doing? What is the Nigerian government doing to ensure? Because people are even crying nepotism, even in, in, in appointments. We need to be able to demonstrate to all Nigerians that every single one matters, yes. irrespective of your political affiliation, of whom you voted for, who you supported. We are all Nigerian, and we have to find a way to bring back that unity. Mm -hmm. It's lacking, and it is sad to see. Definitely. Well, let's take our last story on uh, what's trending today, the International Criminal Police. Nigerians, I don't know where we are going to with this level of bigotry that we are seeing. Guess what? Mr. Moral, who was once a presidential candidate, once told us that after school he got no money to go to the university. Guess who helped him? A Yoruba man. A Yoruba man. And we saw one guy during the last protest came out and said that he graduated from a university. No job for him. He wanted to start a business of the business of running a school. He got no money. Guess who helped him? An Igbo man. So you just see that we are all one. But these politicians have ended up dividing us. Peter Obi has made it clear to Nigerians that this ethnicity we are seeing is just a tool in the hands of politicians. Why is it that we easily fall for all this? Why is it that even after the election, we, we still don't see ourselves as one? Nigerians, please, it is time to hand down our weapons and come together as one. Let's unite. Let's build this country. I can't imagine somebody coming out in a public domain Main to call on others to buy another person. I must say no to that. I must disassociate myself from that. But nevertheless, the government has come has got a whole lot of role to play. I mean, the Nigerian government, we all know that, you know, even Bayo Ononuga once said in his tweet that he does not regret whatever that is being said about the Ibus. Let me read it out from this uh, headline so that you see it for yourself that this is not just among the, the ordinary people. This is the spokesman for the president. And he said, I owe no one apology for ethnic law against the Ibus. They are, they are threats to Eurobars, that's Bayo Ononuga. And we've, we've seen other people coming out to say, Tinubu is the cause of the, 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 the strife that we are seeing between the Igbos and the Eurobars. And also, it showed, there was this video of Remy Tinubu where she was saying that they are going to take over whatever belongs to the Igbos. You know, she was saying that then, she never knew she was going to be the president's wife. So you can imagine, even among the leaders who are currently leading us today, there is that animosity against a certain tribe. And it's because of all these things that this lady could not hold her, her anger anymore. She just came out and was saying that the Igbos should go ahead and buy, you know, the, 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 the Eurobars. But I, I think that she went to extreme. Honestly, she went to the extreme. Let's understand that this is just a tool in the hands of our politicians and guess what politics is now over they've gotten their juicy positions they are now enjoying even the, the, the nigerian people who are the ones suffering are still the one you know destroying themselves while these politicians are now in their houses some of them have like three five maids they have who is washing their cars they have their drivers they have their cooks they have everything at their disposal 
and you that can't even afford one day uh, you, a daily square meal you are not the one having problem with your fellow nigerian so guys i'm going to let you take a look at how rufai and his uh, colleagues you know how they analyze this topic because um, i think this is, this has been trending i mean it has been trending but i think for every reasonable nigerian especially every Igbo should come out and condemn this uh you know this statement that was made by this woman i don't think it represents the Igbos. i don't think Igbos will agree to this and also reno mokri has come out to say something you know he always liked to associate peter will be with all this he said in a tweet you can see it from this yaba left online and it says reno mokri calls out peter will be for not publicly condemning the woman who threatened to buy yoruba and Benin people in canada now he uh, this further reads reno mokri if someone from the north or southwest called for the mass uh poi you know what that means what the woman said in her video of Igbo peter of Igbo people peter obi would would have released a lengthy statement in two seconds but 48 hours after amaka patients son beggar uh made the threat to mass by people of yoruba and Edo origin peter obi has characteristically chopped and clean mouth so you can see what reno omokri said in this video here against peter obi i, I you know reno omokri is just he's used to linking peter obi to anything he if he doesn't call him he he's in support of ipob he'll say he's in support of uh, you know all kinds of things we know that this is not even much important to what i'm trying to say but let's take a look at how the arise news uh crew talked about this headline just take a look for yourself <laughs> 